Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Well, I'm heading out now. I'll see you later, Aunt Mito. I'll be back during lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't wait to see my sweet little raven. Hopefully she'll be home by now. She has been living here for almost a year. Oh, I can't wait to show her this gift I'm gonna give her for Valentine's Day. Maybe she'll like it. Or love it. Maybe someday I will confess my love for her. I don't care what people say that she's different or looks different. Different is always good. Just because she looks like she's from the darkness. But deep down, she's a nice girl. I should stop rambling over myself. Let's just head over to her place. Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey there, little raven. It's me, Gone. Good morning. How am I doing? I'm doing great. I just had a very delicious breakfast that my Aunt Mito made. Oh, if only you could come over. Her cooking skills are amazing. Same goes to Grandma. Hmm? You're not in a good mood. Why is that? Oh, your package didn't come. Where was that from? Oh, I see. Well, don't worry. I bet it'll arrive soon. Oh, you just know it. Anyways, um, hmm, what are you doing out here? Are you doing some shopping? You don't mind that I tag along with you? Oh, what's my business? It's to be with you. That's the plan for today, is I want to spend time with you, listener. Well, there is something I've been wanting to give you. I know it's a late gift for Valentine's Day, but, um, here you go. I made it all by myself. <laughs> it's not just the wrapping, silly. It's what's inside. Sure, you can open it. <laughs> you like it? Well, I do know you wear a lot of black because, uh, you're a goth girl, but I think purple would look good on you, too. It's sort of like a goth color, and maybe it'll suit your beautiful eyes. Yeah, it's okay to have some color. I heard that um, blue or red could also go good with black. Yeah, like red lipstick or blue uh, eye uh, makeup thingies. Yeah, I think a purple dress will look good with your black hair. And black heels. <laughs> Are you blushing, listener? Well, <laughs> um, Aunt Mito did teach me of a few things about making dresses, so I hope it'll fit you. I did have to check you out to sh make sure about your size. Will you wear it? Oh, yeah, not right now, because we're in the opening. But maybe when you get home. If it doesn't fit, maybe me and my aunt could help. We could, uh, rearrange it and, uh, re-sew. Something like magic. <laughs> what can I say? I have magical fingers. And a magical nose, too. Hey, don't call me a puppy. Uh... That's what Kilua says. When's Kilua coming? Oh, he'll be arriving soon. Um, he just has to do a, a few missions with his sister. But I do know they're still coming for a visit. <laughs> I think you're gonna like them. Kilua has been my friend since we were age 12. I barely know much about his sister, but I heard she's very nice too. 
Well, anyways, next topic. Huh? Oh, that's the mailman. <laughs> See, I told you, you just need to be patient. It will arrive soon, but now here it is. <laughs> Let's head back to your place. I bet it'll arrive. Yeah. You don't mind that I come along? Like I said, the only plans that I have for today is spending time with you. My little raven. <laughs> it's always cute to see your face turn red when I call you that. It's a cute nickname for you. And it suits you. Plus, ravens are very pretty birds. <laughs> so, let's head back to your place. Well, we made it, and we're just in time. Your package came. Well, I wonder what it is, though, or something that you ordered. Excuse me? It's a surprise. For who? For me? You got me a surprise? Huh, now you got me really curious. It was a supposed to be a valentine's present? Oh, listener, you didn't have to. Usually I spoil you, but I never expected you to spoil me. Oh, do I open it? Now? Okay, I'll open it. Uh -uh. <gasps> what is this? Uh <laughs> Is this a... <laughs> Listener. <laughs> this looks like a... Black coat. <laughs> Is that chains on it, too? You want me to... Put on some goth clothing? Is that it? You want to turn me into a goth? Well, again, I don't even know what I am, but I bet it'll be so cozy. Mm, the texture is very nice. I don't mind going goth for one day for you. Of course, I am all about adventure. And maybe being a goth with you would be so cute. I don't care what people would say. I think goth culture is very interesting. Well, not only the coat, but I need to wear like a black t-shirt, I think I have that, and black pants, and maybe some black boots, too. You can help me with my makeup, too. Maybe not too much, but make myself look like, uh, like you. I'll be your goth prince, and you'll be my goth princess. Are you okay, listener? You're looking red again. It does suit you. <laughs> Aw, happy late Valentine's to you, too. And thank you for the gift. I can't wait to be goth with you one day. <laughs> well, yes, I mean it. Your style is really cute. I don't care what people say if they call you a witch, a vampire, or a spider. For me, <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. You remind me of a black cat. Usually people say black cats cause bad luck. But in my opinion, black cats are the most adorable things and they bring in good luck. That's what you remind me of. Maybe that should be a new nickname for you. I can call you my little black kitty. No, just little raven. Okay, that's fine with me. You're still beautiful. And... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I love you, listener. That's another thing I wanted to tell you today, and my plan is to tell you that I love you. Of course. Well, you're amazing. That's all that I could say. You're amazing, you're sweet, you're so kind to me, and you don't judge a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. Well... Hmm. There's another thing I wanted to ask you, 
but I couldn't get it out of my head. Oh, there we go. I thought of something. I want to take you out for dinner tonight. Yeah, you choose the place and I'll pay. Because I'm a hunter, and now that I have some money from my leftovers for the Heavens Arena, from my past, why not go out for dinner? How does that sound? Hmm, what time should we go out? I'd say about six o'clock. Wonderful! I'll pick you up at six. Well, at least I'll get to see you in that beautiful purple dress we made you. Yes, I'll wear my black coat that you gave me. Maybe something other black clothing I could wear. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's it. Oh, and one more thing. Before our date. Uh, can you lower down a little bit? Well, your heels. <laughs> Mwah! I love you, little raven. I can't wait to go out to dinner with you tonight. Well, see you later. Looks like I gotta go wash this for laundry. And Mito still needs to teach me how to do laundry. Hopefully you'll look very beautiful tonight. Who am I kidding? You're always beautiful. <laughs> see you tonight, little raven.